<laughs> Fighters only television and we're backstage here in Dublin, Ireland where Paul Daly's just scored what's up, what's up? a flying what's up? knee knock. Just reminding you motherfuckers who the real number one is. Don't forget it, Semtex. Since day one, UK's pound for pound best fighter. Don't forget it. Don't sleep on me ever. Ever. Last week too, bro. Paul, a few, a few quick words, Paul, before you yeah, wander off. So, uh, let's start with the finish. He avoided you for uh, for two rounds. Very, very yeah, evasive. Yeah. A lot of frustration. Yeah, a lot of frustration. I just didn't want the whole three rounds to go that way. So, went back after the first round. My corner says, look, he's tired. Go out. Uh, just put the pressure on him straight away. So, I did. Uh, I was throwing some leg kicks. Uh, threw a head kick, threw another leg kick, and I knew that he thought I was going to throw a leg kick, so I knew, knew he was going to drop his head and try and come in and get the takedown, so I jumped with a double knee, so it worked out pretty well. A little bit of Jose Aldo there at the yeah, finish. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was nice. My, oh. first, my first flying knee finish, I've, I've thrown a few of them, but that's the first one that's actually landed perfect. And it was spectacular, and if you're on the forums right now, you'll probably see a gif yeah. popping up you know, pretty soon. But uh, just take us a little bit... Earlier into the fight, you threw one of the leg kicks, he eventually yeah. did something, he caught it, he yeah. uh, took you down off it, yeah. and then we nearly saw you lock up a triangle. Where did that yeah. come from? Uh, you know, I'm just telling everybody, don't sleep. Just because you don't see everything in my game in every fight. Some fights I'm not given the opportunity to, opportunity to, and some fights I just haven't had the confidence to, but, you know, I have a really, I've had a really good camp. I've had a lot of good guys coming down. Uh, a lot of jiu-jitsu guys, I've been rolling with them, some brown belts, some Hodger Gracie purple belts, not been tapping me, and I've been doing fine, so my confidence was high. Um, yeah, got to my back, knew we had long arms, so I thought if I get to my back, I'm just going to throw up a triangle. He's got really long arms. Threw it up, I caught it. Uh, he went to slam, he went for the leg, and eventually he stepped over and got out of it. But, you know, it was a good, good effort, I think. A very good effort. And uh, take us to the end of the fight. You had a bold, uh, a bold statement, a message for the rest of the UK. Yeah. I'm Paul Daly. I'm yeah. the best pound for pound UK fighter from yeah. Bantamweight to Heavyweight. I'll fight any of you. Yeah. Explain that to us. That's the truth, you know, people sleep on me since I got cut from, cut from the UFC. I've had a few decision losses. I lost to one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world in Nick Diaz. I've lost to Koscheck and again, one of the top welterweights in the world. And people are just trying to forget about me and push, push me to the side when, you know, not disrespecting any other British fighter, but I honestly feel that pound for pound, I am the best UK fighter. And, you know, when these guys are freed up out of their contracts, I'm willing to fight anybody, you know, we'll do like old school pride open tournament, I'll fight anybody. How frustrating is it for you right now that the, the mixed martial arts landscape has changed in a couple of years to the effect that the UFC is, you know, the be all and end all? I guess Bellator's kind yeah. of coming through now. Yeah, well, yeah, like you say, Bellator's coming through. They've put on some cracking fights uh, lately and some really, really good cards. Uh, but yeah, the UFC seem to be dominate, dominating the, the marketplace in MMA. And it's sad because there are talented fighters like myself and a bunch of other guys that are just not getting, getting the look in. But, you know, hopefully if I, if I can do my thing away from the scene, away from the UFC and still get the media attention, still get the support, still get, you know, great sponsorships like, uh, you know, blue chip companies like Maximus or owned by Glasgow Smith Klein who have fucking supported me uh, uh, a great deal since day one. If I can do that and I can still make money and show people, hey, you don't have to be in the UFC to do well and get... Uh, the respect that you deserve then it might not always be about the UFC and uh, take us to be your next move what's next for you uh, right now I don't know well I'm supposed to be fighting again at the end of this month uh, pending Bellator's approval but it might necessarily not be MMA so you might be fighting in a see me fighting in a different format but I can't say too much until papers are signed slightly bigger gloves possibly shorter rounds possibly go on we'll, <laughs> we'll leave it there